Howdy YouTube, back again today with a mail call, shout out for DT and my Silver Squad. I've got some packages here from April. I've got a whole pile of packages, but anyway, these are from April. We're going to try and get through four of them today. Let's hope. I think we will, so... We'll be back. we we'll get one or two of these opened up and uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, I've got two packages laid out here. One of the bigger ones and one of the smaller manila envelope ones. Uh, both YouTube and whatnot items in these. Definitely some roll hunts. We got some auctions and uh, buy it nows in here also we'll go through some of these coins got a 65 40 percenter 67 40 percenter 68 Denver couple of quarters there 90 percenters a 41 Philly a 64 Denver pretty good shape there got one Merc Mercury Dime, it's a 37 Philly. Got some Benjamin Franklin 90 percenter half dollars. Got a 49 San Francisco, 51 Philly, 53 Denver, 62 Philly, couple 62 Denvers, 63 Philly, and a couple 63 Denvers. Man, this was a box I or I bought in a box on YouTube. I knew it was coming up on these sometimes, but probably one of the best boxes I've ever had. I had 47 silvers in a box that I purchased. About DT about had an asthma attack when he opened it up and seen several enders. Almost two full rolls of BU 40 percenters in there. There's 42 uh, 40 percenters. About equally distributed between 67s and 68 Denvers. So, and I give a few of them away too. That's why that wasn't quite a full roll. But that almost like somebody dumped two full rolls of BU 40 percenters then there was also four really nice 64 Philly and Denver 90 percent Kennedy's in there and then kind of an oddball uh, 1935 San Francisco Walker and then a 1944 Australian penny in there that was kind of different got King George the six on on that one then for my donation tier he was had some five ounce bars that day it was a uh, pioneer metals 0.999 five ounce loaf there and poured bar so that's one of my best boxes if not my best box I've ever had I believe it is I think the other one best one had like 42 silvers in the box several years ago Then we get into some auction items that were on whatnot. Got a couple really nice 42 Philly BU Walkers. Both of them are really nice. No wear on them. Definitely a possibility I might send those in to have them graded because they are nice. Got a, I think this was a buy now, 
not sure, but it's a 2023 Britannia. It's got uh, Charles on the front. So that's one of the new releases. Then we got some uh, Morgans I got at auction. Got an 1892 Philly. And then a couple of MS63 graded PCGS Morgans. Got an 1884 New Orleans and, and a 1904 New Orleans. And that's in uh, old PCGS holder. Very nice. Then I got two of these. These look I don't know if you can see them. I'll bring them up a little closer. I'm not for sure what these were. I I know one of them was for tipping the host deal where we had a little giveaway thing uh, possibility and this was what I got at least one of them. But there's two of them and I have no idea who or what made them but they are a tenth ounce of .999 fine and then this these are races on YouTube uh, got a it's pretty nice I've got another one of these myself but it is a ASE that's been plated with black ruthenium and 24 karat gold it's 2016 those are pretty nice then last but not least, I'm not going to open it up today. I'm going to do a short in a couple days where I open this up. But this Batman 10, see it's a 10. I'm not for sure exactly what coin is in that. I can't remember anymore, but I do remember when it had a, on a race. But anyway, that's a package number one and two laid out here we'll get the these set off to the side and get two more packages laid out here and uh, we'll be back in just a little bit okay I got the second small package laid out here third package overall I hope I can get one more that one more big package laid out afterwards but laid these out and it was pretty well full so we'll go through these I think these are all from whatnot I did donate for 20 rolls it looks like uh, got five walkers there 39 Philly 41 Philly 42 Philly 43 Denver 43 San Francisco and in the rolls we found a Panama half Balboa there. It was a 1968. And after looking looking it up, it is a 40% silver. It was minted at the San Francisco Mint. There was one million minted. And I don't think at the time we thought it was silver, but that is definitely 40% uh, silver. Got one. 1916 Philly first year mercury dime there and then we got into some auction items auction buy it nows I think it was mostly auctions but did get a half ounce uh, Morgan dollar look-alike there That is, of course, that's a half ounce of 999 silver. Got a couple Morgan dollars, an 1879 Philly. It has been cleaned. Uh, nothing fancy there, but all these I got for a really good price. Got a 1922 Philly piece dollar. 
We got a Spider-Man 24 karat leaf $100 bill there That was kind of cool Spider-Man bill Got some 40% candies again. I believe these are all auction 68 San Francisco 1970 that uh, Denver NISC those are only found in mint sets And we got a 76 San Francisco 40% uh, Bicentennial half there 190% 1964 Philly and these are all pretty much BU coins and then all these over here I don't think all except for this one I think I paid five dollars or less for all of these a lot of them these were a dollar but got some Merc dimes AUBU 42 Philly, 43 Philly, 44 Philly, 45 Philly. Again, they're AUBU. They'll probably end up in my album. They're all nice. Got a 1887 V nickel. It's kind of rough. Got a 1923 Philadelphia. Uh, Buffalo Indian head and then these proof coin quarters here they're all the clad 1976 San Francisco 95 2005 and that's uh, I believe that was, was it Kansas yeah Kansas Great Basin 2013 and Cumberland Gap 2016 all San Francisco mints and last but not least we got a Tallgrass Prairie 2020 W mint it's got the little V75 privy there uncirculated coin there those are anywhere from ten to twenty dollars nice shape and that's the end of this package. We'll set these off the side and hopefully I can fit that contents of that last package on here now too. Oh, and I can't forget my Silver Squad sticker that I he replaced for me that holographic that I lost somewhere here. I can't, it must have fallen in the trash. But anyway, okay, we'll be back. Hopefully we'll get package four laid out here. Okay, got the fourth package laid out here. I didn't know if I'd have room or not, but we got it on there. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, we had a Aunt Tibby sticker coin. And that's gonna go back in uh, return bin. We got some 40 percenters this was I think a lot of it was from YouTube there was a couple auctions on whatnot maybe some roll purchases but we got some 40 percenters we got a 1966 got five 1967's a couple 1968 Denver's and a couple 1969 Denver's had 190% a 64 Denver Kennedy there Benji's 90 percenters we had a 52 Denver a couple 53 Denver's a 54 Denver a 58 Denver 59 Philly couple 1960 Denver's and two 1963 Denver's had three 1964 Denver Washington quarters 90 percenters last year and then we get into walkers 
You can see that one's pretty slick. It's a 1917. It is a possible D obverse mint mark, but it's so slick. It, you can sort of see maybe there's a mint mark there on the front below the In God We Trust, but it's so slick it's kind of tough to see. And also this is 1918. It's slicker than that one, but I can pick out the 18. It is an 18 San Francisco. Had a 37 San Francisco, 38 Philly, 39 San Francisco, a couple 41 Phillies, 43 Philly, uh, 43 San Francisco, and a 46 San Francisco. So several San Francisco mint marks there. Then into the one ounces. Say, I think I donated for a box and he didn't have any uh, uh, constitutional, so I ended up getting silver rounds. That's why I got so many silver rounds, I think, here. But up top, we got two of the Don't Tread On Me, uh, front and back there. Got two of the Nui 2022 Vaders, Darth Vaders there. Got one 2022 Cook Island uh, ship there. Flip that one around so you can see it. It's got a pretty neat design to it. fields are kind of different got one it's either 2020 or 2011 or 2023 I think it's a 2011 there's no true date on it it does look a little worn so I think it's a 2011 year of the rabbit it's got the years for all the different signs there on the back Got a 2012 Year of the Dragon. Then got an SMI Mint one ounce silver ASE design. And then got a Batman in the TEP. Thinking that's maybe the coin that's inside that box there, but maybe colorized and in the tin. It is a Samoa 2023. Again, kind of cool. Batman. And then these were auction purchases. Got a couple more of the 2020 W quarters. Two million minute of each of those uncirculated coins. So they're probably closer to the $20 value. Got them for a good price. And it's a tall grass prairie, like one like in the previous. And then they got a Weir Farm. Kind of collecting those for a friend. I've got the full sets. But anyway, we got through it. We got four packages done. Still way behind, but at least we got four done this time. We'll be doing a short real shortly. A couple days we'll have it up, opening that tin up, taking a look at that one. But again, I want to thank DT and my silver squad. For the live streams on uh, YouTube and whatnot got a lot of nice stuff out here and had that one awesome box with all them silvers in it 47 that's don't happen every day but again I'll put a link down below and I'll put a picture of both of his pages right now
and make sure you check out DT and my Silver Squad on YouTube and whatnot. Live streamer has a lot of nice stuff. Get involved with his games. You could get some of this like I've got yourself. And come on back, check out my other videos. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side.